What's going on guys, Satsuki the Savage here and today I'm going to be reviewing One Piece up to chapter 937. I missed the last five chapters because I have not been feeling the last five chapters. Actually, the chapter before this chapter was actually a good chapter in my opinion, but the other chapters it hasn't been up to par. But as you can see, there is rant in the title of the video. So if you do not want to see me bitching about One Piece, please click off the video you can leave your dislikes like i'm not trying to circumvent dislikes or anything like that i just don't want you to waste your time on some shit that you don't want to see so if you don't want to see me bitching about one piece just leave all right because <laughs> the bitching is coming and let's start with this chapter because i've seen a lot of people hype up this chapter people are literally giving this chapter a 10 out of 10 9 out of 10s Shit like that, all because we seen Zoro cut a nigga. Are we that deprived of Zoro fighting someone that we are hyping any mediocre fight? And yes, it was mediocre. People are, th this is why people are saying the chapter is so good. Like, oh, Zoro just beat the Manslayer. He just beat a strong opponent. And to me, he looked like fodder. The dude look like fucking fodder. I don't give a fuck if Zoro has an offhand comment like, oh, this guy is strong. What did they show me in the chapter? They showed me this dude wasn't anything. I don't give a fuck if he cut Zoro. He stabbed Zoro because Zoro was literally getting jumped on both sides. And he took it, took his sickle or scythe, whatever you want to call it, and then cut him. And it was over. I mean, if this dude is still alive, then okay, then we can have a better discussion on if this guy is strong or not. But this was a mediocre fight. And I don't think it was a bad fight per se. I just don't see what everybody else is seeing to hype this chapter up simply because Zoro actually fought somebody, okay? And just to keep things in perspective, because... The first chapter we had of Wano, chapter 909, I believe. I, I believe that was a chapter. Where we see Zoro is about to get executed for stealing the sword. And he, I think he was being framed. Okay, the seppuku chapter. Where he takes the seppuku blade and then he cuts some shit. Why did I like that chapter even though Zoro basically cut somebody that was fodder? I liked it because it was a real good parallel to Mihawk when Mihawk cut Zoro pre-time skip with a small ass blade we see Zoro with a small ass seppuku blade cause some serious damage that was hype that was a nice parallel to Mihawk but in this chapter he fights the manslayer okay cool and Zoro says he's strong but he didn't show me that he was strong because in my opinion if Zoro was not being jumped on both sides, then he would have never got cut and he could have finished this dude off easily. Easily. So, you know, it's times like this, I wonder why we hype shit like this up because when an actual fight happens, then what are you going to say? If this is a 9 out of 10 and 10 out of 10 to you, then holy shit. When Zoro actually fights someone worth mentioning, then y'all niggas are going to say it's a 50 out of 10. It, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think this chapter was bad. If I gave it a rating, which I don't like to give number ratings because people will focus on that too much. But if I had to give this a number rating, I would give it a 6 out of 10. It was an okay chapter. An okay chapter. That's all it was. And <laughs> it just... Putting the Zoro shit on a shelf, the Big Mom shit, all throughout these last five chapters I didn't review, is going to be trash to me no matter what happens. Until Big Mom is the Big Mom that we've seen at Whole Cake Island who is wrecking shit and causing havoc like a Yonko should, I do not care to see her face. I don't, any chapter with Big Mom in it, for now, in this form, where she has no memory is automatically going to bring the chapter down all right how far it's going to bring the chapter down not too entirely sure it just depends on what else happens but 
I, I swear to God, anytime I see Big Mom, I'm literally getting mad because I'm thinking to myself, you are a Yonko who is being controlled by fucking Chopper as if you are a Pokemon. Big Mom is Snorlax and Chopper is fucking Ash Ketchum right now. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous that somebody of Big Mom's caliber is being treated like this. And like I said, anytime I see her, the chapter is being brought down. Maybe this chapter could have been a 7 out of 10. I don't know. But again, Big Mom, <laughs> I'm sorry, no. And we are getting hints that Big Mom might go to the prison where Luffy is being kept and fight Queen potentially because they both are wanting and craving the same food. So, very convenient, but I'm, I'm not one to complain about stuff like that. But, again, it's it's just another thing that works in a Straw Hat's favor. And I hate how Oda does that. It's like, how does everything work in a Straw Hat's favor? The fact that Luffy is being allowed to walk right now and he's not being kept in a cell or tortured is bullshit. Queen has been shown... To, or through dialogue we know that queen tortures niggas that was supposed to be his whole thing yet he is letting luffy walk around and just fight people this that's not torturing him that's giving luffy a fighting chance why i mean i have nothing against queen but the way queen was portrayed before it seemed like queen is going to torture you but She's not doing that with Luffy. Or he's not doing that with Luffy. You're letting Luffy roam around. Of course, Luffy still has the collar, but still. No sea stone cuffs. Like, fuck, fuck that. And, I again, I usually don't get too caught up in some of the plot convenience, but it's too many things happening at once. Not only do you have Queen, who's letting Luffy roam around, no sea stone cuffs, now Big Mom might come to Luffy's aid. Uh, just uh, think about what I'm saying. Big Mom might come and save Luffy. No, she's not, you know, in her mind saying, yeah, I'm going to save Luffy on some Robin type of shit in this lobby. But still, the fact that this is happening or may potentially happen. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I just want to reiterate, it's not that I have a huge problem with these last One Piece chapters. It's just that I haven't been too fond of them. I don't think any One Piece chapters, at least the ones that I've missed, have been bad. But they have been, oh, they have been mediocre to okay to good. The last chapter was good in my opinion. But nothing bigger than that. No great chapters, no amazing chapters. And you're not going to have an amazing chapter every chapter, which is fine. But I feel like we have to set a standard at some point. If this chapter is a 10 out of 10, I that that's, that's giving Oda much too credit. If we're sitting here and saying this is a 10 out of 10, this is an amazing chapter. Because what 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 happened? What happened? We had Luffy call back to more of his training from Rayleigh, which is cool, fine. We have more Big Mom trash, and we have Zoro fighting a fodder nigga. And I don't mean fodder like he, this dude that he fought is a complete weakling, but I mean fodder in comparison to Zoro. One-on-one, -on -one, he was not going to fuck with Zoro. I don't care if Zoro say he's strong. Look at how he was portrayed. Because the optics mean something to me. You can say anything all you want. You can say that this person is strong. But he didn't show me he was strong. Because again, it's just the cut that Zoro received. I'm not seeing Zoro take that cut if he's not being jumped on both fronts. The most interesting thing that happened in chapter 937 was the conversation Zoro had with uh, whatever the fuck his name is. I have his name written down somewhere. Yokimaru. That was the most interesting thing that happened in this chapter because Zoro was trying to find out about Shonsui and the Black Blade. Okay, how it became a Black Blade. 
But guess what? Oda inter interrupts that conversation. More teasing. So, yeah. Again, I didn't dislike this chapter. I just felt like people were overhyping this chapter simply because they have been thirsty for Zoro to do something. And we cannot be this damn thirsty to the point where we're hallucinating about how good a chapter is. Zoro in a chapter cutting someone doesn't inherently make a chapter great. Alright? And Zoro's my favorite character. Zoro's my favorite character. I'm, this ain't no Sanji fan trying to push an agenda. I simply just don't see what other people are seeing. And I'm spending too much time on what the community thinks, but it bothers me that we've gotten to a point where we set the standards so low that Oda could have a chapter like this and it still is being called amazing. I'm just not seeing it. And this, is, this isn't just for One Piece. This is for any series I'm covering. Why haven't I been covering Kino? Because I felt like a lot of these last chapters have been mediocre. Or, you know, not interesting to me. So, I had to get that off my chest. I had to. Talking about a lot of the other things that I missed in these past five chapters. I believe that Choshiro being the person who potentially snitched to Drake and Hawkins is a red herring. Because... If you remember Hawkins and Drake, they knew about the tattoos. How would they know about that? Somebody had to have told them. And from pre, I don't know what chapter it was. It may have been chapter 935. It was either chapter 935 or 934. The chapter where we see Choshiro cut down Komorosaki. And as soon as I seen that, I knew Komorosaki was all right. There's no way Oda would spend all this time developing Komorosaki, focusing on her, for her to be cut down and killed like that. I knew she was alive. But we see that Kyoshiro, he picks up the paper, of course, the paper that Sanji and the rest of the crew have been passing out to recruit people. And I feel like Oda was trying to hint that Kyoshiro is the one who told Drake and Hawkins about the tattoo. But again, I believe that's a red herring. Why? Because <clears throat> first, Komorosaki is still alive. If he was really on the side of Odin, he would have killed Komorosaki. But he didn't for some reason. And will, the question is, will he become an ally? I'm not entirely sure. But I don't think that he's going to be standing in a straw hat's way. And we still have never resolved that plot line of somebody potentially feeding Jack information on Zoe. Because there still may be a traitor amongst the Minks. And if that is the case, then that will be the culprit in my eyes of the person who snitched to Drake and Hawkins. And told them of the tattoos. Because again, I believe Kimura, uh, Choshiro is just something that Oda is throwing in our face. Trying to mislead us from an actual suspect. And this is just my gut feeling. Because I, I don't have any concrete proof. It's just my gut feeling. So, yeah. that That's my thoughts on that. I don't know if there's anything else... I wanted to talk about. Oh yeah. Luffy's training. That's another complaint I have. With how. Kaido is setting everything up. He's trying to recruit. Strong people. Yet. The way you're going about. Doing it is wrong. Luffy is literally. Training. Think about that. He is training. In the custody. Of Kaido. How is this allowed? How is this happening? You're literally letting your enemies. Become stronger so that they could potentially take you down this arc. 
And it's baffling to me that Kaido is allowing this to happen. When you have people like Queen, who is supposedly so fond of torture, but it doesn't seem like Queen is fond of torture anymore when he sees Luffy in front of his face. Because Luffy is supposed to get his arm, he's supposed to get his arms chopped off. Fuck that. Fuck that. But <laughs> you have a character, Kawa Kawamatsu. Was that his name, Kawamatsu? I believe that was his name. This man has been in their custody for years, yet they have still not broken him. And you're not trying to change your tactics to recruit him? If you're still trying to recruit him, why aren't you trying to change your tactics? You're just keeping him locked up in a cell, feeding him poisonous fish. Obviously, it's not fucking working because it's been years. And people are excused in the way that they are letting Luffy roam around like this. They're like, oh, he's trying to recruit Luffy. He's not trying to kill him. That's understandable. But it all it also seems like he ain't really trying to break him. You, you can't have it, it, it. It's one thing or the other. You can't say, I want to recruit Luffy. I want to break him. I want him to be a part of my army. But still give him give Luffy so much free reign to the point where this shit looks like a field trip. Luffy was literally smiling in these chapters like this shit is an adventure. Like, no motherfucker, this shit should be torture. This shit should be hell. I should see Luffy. <sighs> Bro. This shit is like a amusement park. And Part of the reason is because Luffy is so strong. That's understandable, but they have him in custody. They had him in sea stone cuffs. They had the license to do whatever they want to Luffy to get him to break. Was Luffy going to break? No. Luffy was not going to break, given his personality. But the fact that they, they, they really didn't even try. Like, you're really trying to get Luffy to break by getting him to lift up some fucking rocks? That's your method? If I was Kaido, Queen, King, who the fuck ever, Jack, I'm going to torture the other prisoners to make Luffy know, yo, this ain't no joke. We know how Luffy gets when he, you... when you target... uh. You know, people that don't have anything to do. You know, if I if I make Luffy feel responsible for other people's deaths, Luffy's going to get angry. You know, that's more of you trying to break him in, but him lifting rocks? Nah, nigga. No. And this whole... <laughs> I don't even know what to call it. This whole battle royale that Queen set up for Luffy, this shit ain't breaking him. Nah. The, the whole way this prison is set up <laughs> I mean kid escaped the kid it was just like bro I'm out that's how easy this shit is I know this this place isn't going to be like impaled down but goddamn, <sighs> I don't know I think that's my the last of my complaints once again for the last time these five chapters they have not been bad but they have been mediocre to okay to good. Nothing bad, nothing horrible, but nothing great, nothing amazing. All right? This chapter was more the same. It was an okay chapter. But I feel like people are giving praise to chapters that should not get this praise simply because we have been deprived of things. I understand One Piece fans are hungry for some great chapters, but we don't have to sit here, eat this shit, and say it's the best thing ever. Because it's not. Because I know Oda can do better. That's the whole thing. You don't, you've you seen Oda do better than this. Let's not, let's not give 10 out of 10s and 9 out of 10s to chapters that don't deserve it. Alright? But that's just me bitching. That's all. It's just me bitching, all right? It's my opinion. This is just how I feel on the situation. If you don't like it, you don't like it. It's as simple as that.
but this is how I felt and this is why I have not had any desire to review One Piece as of late. Same with Kingdom. Again, I don't want people to think that I'm targeting One Piece. It's just some of these series, I feel like they have to step up because they haven't been living up to what I know they are capable of. But guys, that is it for this video. I don't know if I will review One Piece on a chapter to chapter basis. It just depends on what Oda brings. For now on, <laughs> like, I gotta see some shit. Like, the chapter doesn't have to necessarily be good because I don't want to make it seem like I'm only going to review good chapters, but at least make it interesting, all right? Whether it be interesting in a good way or a bad way, make the chapters interesting enough for me to review it. That's how we rock it now. That's how we rock it. Gang, gang, gang. Sasuke the Savage, like, dislike, comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I am out.